All right, today's children's book talk is another amazing classic work. In this case, it's a treasury. And I got to say, I love treasury type volumes where you get like a lot of stories in one. Um, one, just because they don't take up a ton of bookshelf space. And in my house, bookshelf space is at a premium. And two is you get like a lot of characters that you love. And I, I got to say, I wish that I had read this book more to my kids when they were younger. Um, we've read a lot to our kids, but for some reason, this has not been something we've read as much. And it's so good. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about Paddington Treasury, right, by Michael Bond. So if you're familiar with Paddington Bear, right, a uh, little British story of a, a, a Peruvian bear, dark, what is it, Deep Peru or Dark Peru is where the bear's from. And he is, uh, he wears this sort of raincoat and rain hat and uh, is found at the train station and named after the train station and... Uh, now there's two movie adaptations of these stories, but it is a very sweet story of uh, a bear who has lost his family and finds a new family. So in a lot of ways, it's a great story for adoption. Now, adoption is something that has a really near and dear place in my heart because my kids are adopted. So when we have these stories where we have like an adopted family, I find those very sweet and loving and, and endearing, and I just I want, I, I want more of them. So the Paddington Treasury... Uh, very big and and so one thing is I won't be talking about Paddington probably anymore because this contains so much of Paddington but uh, it's got I'm trying to get the table of contents here unsuccessfully I think it's right here yeah so there's like different sections in here like in the beginning uh, Paddington lends a paw a very good bargain indeed a case of mistaken identity and each of these has like five different stories that go into those different categories. And there are a few pictures, mostly at the beginning of chapters, and then a few throughout. But this is a text-heavy book, so this is one that your kids have to have a little bit of patience to sit with, which is probably part of why uh, we haven't read it as much. As much as my kids do love reading, um, they don't have a ton of patience for sitting still while I read. Um, my son will read forever on his own. My daughter, she's not quite there yet. So... Anyway, if you haven't picked this up, just a really sweet story of a little bear that gets into a lot of trouble and finds himself a, a new home, an adoptive home, uh, with a family of humans in England. Paddington Treasury by Michael Bond. I hope you pick it up.